Hi guys, this is Jason Zak from Nathaniel School of Music. In this lesson, I'm going to teach you the George Martin piano or harpsichord sounding solo of the amazing great Beatles song In My Life. So we are just going to deal with the solo part and it's a very Bach inspired counterpoint kind of performance as you heard in the uh, intro video. So even if you're not a Beatles fan, I'm sure you will become one and you may even become a Bach fan after learning this because ultimately the composer is very influenced by that kind of music, the older era of music, the classical era and how the counterpoint style works is you don't really play chords. You're not going to play, you know, chords in the left hand as we normally do when we play our piano. It's m m literally a melody in both hands. There's a melody in the right hand. And then... So there's a lot of melodic counterpoint or... Uh, chatting or conversation happening together and the two melodies which come together in a beautiful way will also take care of the harmonic movement of the song and also add the rhythm because at some point some of the beats are going to be rested some notes are going to be delayed or played for a bit longer or shorter staccato laccato sometimes you're going to embellish the melody so uh, we are going to learn it exactly the way we are hearing it in the tape version. Uh, again, this is In My Life by the Beatles. So I suggest you, if you haven't heard the song, you could perhaps listen to it on Spotify or on Apple Music or on YouTube or whatever. Because uh, it's a beautiful piano solo. It happens somewhere in the middle of the song, you could say, after the the second verse is over. So we'll just get down to the the very, very, the infamous solo, so to speak. So before we learn this infamous solo, what I would encourage you to do is head over to our Patreon. On the Patreon page, you're going to get my handwritten notes for the entire solo. I've notated the treble clef as well as the bass clef. And if you'd like to download MIDI, import it into fancy softwares which show you each of the notes running by, you can, uh, again consider all the downloads which are available for you on our Patreon page for just a $5 fee monthly, right? So without any delay, let's get cracking with the piano solo. So we go on A major scale. Let's first recap A major. What is A major? A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G sharp, A, A, G sharp, F sharp, B, D, C sharp, B, A. Three sharps, namely C sharp, F sharp, G sharp or F sharp, C sharp, G sharp in the order, correct order you could say. So the key signature has three sharps. Pretty much diatonic. The solo is going to be pretty much diatonic. So I'll just break it down for you in the right hand first and keep a very simple left hand. And the chord progression against the solo would be A major... Da, 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 da. E major, F sharp minor, da. A, A seventh, da, 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 D, D minor, A major. Pretty much the same chords as the verse of the song. There are places I remember oh, in my life. I love them all. Okay. So I'll just try and hum the piano solo against the chord so you get an idea of the harmonic change and then let's break it down. E major, F sharp, minor, A7, D, D minor, right, so I just demonstrated it with my voice so you get an idea of the pivotal changes of the chords. Now coming to the tune, so we'll keep a simple left hand. Uh, how I learned the solo was I just got my left hand to to pulse with the root, you know. So just something like this would work in the left hand or the bass clef while we tackle the right hand, okay? It's notated for you. You could check it out or you could download it. So I'm just going to take you through the right hand of the piano solo. Then we look at the left hand. 
Okay, now let's break that whole deal down. It's pretty much a four bar phrasing, so la da 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 la da da da. You may want to start like that, one and two, one e and a. So you could count it as one e and a, two e and a. So sixteen note phrasing, one e and a, two e and a, three e and a, four e and a. Okay, one more time. Da 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 da, da 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 da. of the fingering fingering will change slightly because we are going to add the fillers or the trills very shortly which are something like things like that right so for now that's bar 1 and now second bar similar rhythm phrasing as the first bar so let's put that together f sharp It's a little slower maybe and knowing the chords also helps because if you're not in a position to play both the tunes together like if you're not able to get that independence you can still play it in a very very workable or a very amazing way with just the chord roots of the left hand so that could work depending on your level on the piano so moving forward so it it's a very simple pivoting thing so how do i play that da, da, da. start at the e of the one so you don't do it on the beat you do it off the beat da, na, na, na. and look at this f sharp it's always every alternate note in that bar da, 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 da. la da, de, da. la da. and then now e becomes the pivot so e you see the pattern there and that's pretty much the gist of the melody so just those last two bars again bar 3 and bar 4 slower a okay putting it all together line 1 and when we repeat it it's almost a ditto copy paste except for the last bar so the first three bars would be the same and now it changes to so that will go let's just do that Okay, just that. You could do it with these three fingers, and make sure you end with your pinky because what happens is it's just A major going down like a finger exercise, but super fast. So uh, whole story of the last bar of the second half. slower okay 
Try to sing it. So you get a more you, you accurate feel of the timing. Okay, so last cycle. Now, the right hand melody as well as the left hand uh, melody, as I'm calling it, which will come later in the in the tutorial, have trills in them. So I've marked it out with a little trill sign in my handwritten notes, and I've marked it out as triplets, super fast. Uh, your, what do you call them? 16th note triplets. So that will divide uh, an 8th note into 3, so to speak. Right? So really fast triplets. So you go... So at this note, you're going to go... Just call it a trill. So you can do that. If you're getting getting it without the trill that's also fine but if you'd like to do it with the trill that's how it goes now there we go that's a C sharp first trill was so it's almost like the target note comes down by one and then goes back to the target. So, so the whole story again. Okay, now not too many trills in the third bar. Yes, there's one. There's one trill in every bar actually. So... There's that trill there at the F. Just to make that F more catchy or more prominent because F is not part of the A major scale, right? That F is uh, a non-diatonic note. And then... At the same spot. At the end of the three. So those are about your trills again. Okay, and the very last bar of the second half, there are no trills. You just go. Okay, so now for the left hand, which was keeping a good vibe, but now we'll try and play it exactly like the original. So the left hand will go, let me just isolate it bar by bar. First bar we go in the bass clef, left hand. La, da, 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 da. Okay. I'd like you to do that as a phrase. And this goes with the melody in the right hand. Okay. Again. <laughs> Continuing. One and two and three. Second bar. So first bar was one, one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a second bar. One E and a two E and a at the end of the two and the on of the one in the second bar. F sharp G la da 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 da. So after you get F sharp G, then we have a nice trill. La, da, 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 da. Now this trill, I had a lot of issues when I was practicing it with the fingering. So follow this exactly. Trust me, it works. You don't want to put your thumb there and you do your index finger on the C sharp. La, da. Cross your thumb immediately. La, da, 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 da. And then it neatly gets your pinky to end on D. 
So the cue points are start with your index at the C sharp. Bring your middle finger on the B. Cross without fail at the A. And you'll get good speed doing that lick. Okay, so whole story. Let's do that whole thing. With the melody slowly. Okay, then it actually relaxes the left hand. Just the first two bars I think are quite tricky. Let's keep rolling that. Second bar. Remember the left hand starts the second bar, the right hand comes in later. With that C sharp trill over the G. Then right hand does that and the left hand goes fancy. So breaking that second bar again. Okay, coming, remember the right hand was doing, then, very pattern like, right? So this you should kind of uh, get into your subconscious mind by kind of grilling, uh, you know, grilling it over and over, over a couple of days of practice or even more if you wish. So the left hand is quite easy in the third bar. So D A D D B A. Now initially I used to do D A D D B A, but then I heard it uh, more and more, and I figured it's da da tum ta da 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 tum ta tum ta da 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 da. So that's the that's the lick of the two hands. Sounds a bit funny, A and B together, like that. A major second, usually you'd expect a third, but that's how it is. It, it sounds beautiful at that speed. Okay, one more time. At speed. Slower. And then that C sharp and A as crotchets, quarter notes. This is a bit tricky. So you could keep that toggle going. Or you could just hold it down like that with two quavers. I think this would also work. This is what is, is there in the original. It's it's a bit tough to hear actually because it's sort of like a piano played at X speed and then they've used tape to kind of speed up the performance. So it's a bit not so clear. Some notes get phased out in the mix, so to speak. But it's it's interesting to figure it out. You can use an app to even slow it down from the original so you could hear everything really well in the song. So, uh, again, the last bar again of the first line. Okay. Okay, and the very last line was... Finally, a unison between the two hands. 
think that's quite easy. And then in the recording, okay, both the hands play that. It's basically A major, super, super, super fast, almost at a inhuman speed, so to speak. So you, you the very last line. My recommendation is don't do the scale in the left hand. You could just keep a root going because even I can't play it to that level. So you go. That kind of works. High A and a low A. It'll also make it clear if, if that's your vibe. Or you could do... Uh, the whole scale. Okay, depends on the speed at which you're preferring to play. This will sound good at much slower than the original speed as well. Right, guys? So we've look, looked at the right hand in terms of the melody. Then we added the trills to that. And then we brought in the counterpoint left hand. Second line. Okay, now let's do the whole thing very slowly so you can capture every moment or every point of contact between the hands and that's pretty much the lesson. slower if that works Right guys, so this was In My Life, the piano solo of In My Life. Now there will be another lesson on our YouTube channel which will also finish off the entire song which has the verse, the chorus, the bridge and all of the other amazing stuff which happens. This was just the piano solo. So do stay tuned to our channel for the other part or the other video. You'll find it. You just have to type In My Life on our channel or a better way to figure this out is to hit that subscribe button and make sure to turn the bell icon and enable regular notifications. So what will then happen is whenever a new video comes your way, it could be a Beatles song, it could be whatever we decide to do or whatever you suggest to us as a loyal subscriber, we will consider doing that and it will roll and it you will get a notification. So do consider hitting the subscribe and the bell will, will help you to get updates whenever we launch. And if you'd want to supplement your learning for this entire lesson, there will be MIDI files. Uh, some of you who know MIDI files, you know what to do with them. Import them into an app of your choice and then it plays and you can visualize it easier. Uh, you can also get the sheet music which is available for the entire piano solo of this arrangement. You will also get my handwritten notes which will allow you to figure out exactly where the trills are, what the chords are and so on and so forth. So happy learning, have fun with the song, hope you enjoyed the lesson and catch you in the next one. Cheers.